feeling hot, hot, hot. Okay, coming in from Amazon is the Pelonus PC fan heater. This is a, well, an oscillating heater type thing that I managed to pick up on an Amazon uh, lightning deal. Uh, reduced down to 48 pounds, I think it was, which was quite good, uh, just to have an extra space heater in the house. This is a 2000 watt uh, space heater, so it takes 2000 watts of energy and converts it into heat and heats the room. It's quite a big heater, so <laughs> you'll probably see that it's, uh, it's got a t uh, tip over protection, compact design, doesn't say what size of room it heats, and quite rightly so, because a 2000 watt heater, it doesn't matter what size the actual heater is, uh, it it just outputs the same amount as any other heater that says 2000 watts on it, or in the case of something in the United States, it would be 1500 watts, because I think that's the max that they can have. We can have slightly more over here, because we have um, better plugs and stuff. Sorry, my microphone's a wee bit out of the way. Uh, this product is only suitable for well insulated spaces and or, uh, or or occasional use it says down there in small print 26 years polonis has been doing their thing i've never heard of them before today or the the day that i note today because i didn't even notice what brand it was i just grabbed it and and well go had it sent to me so down here it says voltage 220 to 240, frequency 50 hertz, power 5000, width, depth, height, it's 217 by 217 by 476. Uh, it's a round base, so weird, weird. Okay, uh, tip over protection, two heating levels, compact design for easier move and carry, overheating protection, and let's dig in and see what it's like. Okay, so opening, up, opening her up, we have the owner's manual on the top, which is PTC fan heater. Comes in a variety of different languages. Cleaning and maintenance. Table of information for requirements for uh, local space heaters. Safety and control. Pilot light. Fan equipper. Fan heater is equipped with a pilot light that glues whenever the heater is plugged in and turned on. Fair enough. Okay, so it isn't quite as huge as I had expected. And to be entirely honest, I don't know what I did expect. So it's uh, it's got like a metal grill here. There's a uh, plastic around the exterior of it that you would like to think there was. It feels all right. It feels kind of cheapish plastic, the same as the last one we looked at. And uh, yeah, there's a join down here, a couple of screws there. Fans at the back. I wonder if there's one big fan or. Ooh, it looks a bit weird in there. There's metal grills over this side. Don't actually see a a main fan. Okay. There's a few grills that are blocked up there for whatever reason. And then you can see the heating elements at the front. A lot of this does actually seem to be molded plastic. This little area here appears to be the heating element. As you can see that on the I don't know if you can see that on the video camera. So on the bottom here we have some feet that don't have rubber feet or anything. I suppose you could equip some yourself, but obviously that's cost saving. And there's no switch on the bottom for tip over protection, so it must be some other way that they've come up with. The cable itself is about two meters long. I can see there, there's a red light or an LED. And then on the top, we have high, low, off, low, high. 
So I'll write OK. It, because this oscillates, you can choose what direction it oscillates. Well, we'll have a play with that. And then min and max. You can hear a click there uh, whenever you go down very low. OK, so that's us plugged in. We're going to see if we can get this going. So on the top, we have it at off. So if I turn it to the right one click, we see the red lights come on. And we'll turn it, we'll just fire it up to max. Uh, ah, right, okay, gotcha. So that's on low, and it's not moving, obviously. Then we turn it one click again, and that goes to max. It is quite loud, I suppose. It's producing a good amount of heat. So if then we go around to low, it starts to move. It's relatively slow rotation or oscillation. I suppose it does about 90 degrees. And then if we hit high, it doesn't speed up, does it? No, it does it at the same speed, but with the, the hot air coming out. And it's got that, that, that warm, dry air that you would expect from a space heater that, that smells a wee bit factory-esque. Right. And then turning it off. So there's nothing really too exciting about it. Um, wow, that is that's quite warm there. Uh, other than those buttons just do those things. Around the back, noticing that there is a there's a grip here for you to be able to pick it up and pinch it between your finger and thumb so you don't drop it. Uh, I'm going to turn her on, and if we turn it to low and oscillation. And then knock it over. It turns off. Lift it back up again and it turns back on again. So there's some sort of automatic switch inside that de detects that it has. Gone through 45 degrees or so. And then it's back on again. Uh, if we change your round to just low, and then look at the back. Ah, there. You can't see the blades now, so there's one big fan here that must be sucking. It must be a, a vertical fan, and it, it's pulling air in like that, and rotates that that way. <laughs> if I turn it off. Oh, okay, it goes that way. And you can see, uh, right, okay, so it, it is, a, it's almost like a combine harvester. And it, it, it sucks air in that, that way as opposed to that way. Vertical fan. I don't know if that's, that's more economical or, or works better than a, than a, than two intake fans, as you would expect. I'm going to go down to the house and set this up in the living room, which is a fairly sizable room, and have a play with it and see just how well it heats the room. So here it is in operation in my living room, blowing heat into the room and rotating. If you would like to see a longer version of this, let me know. I can record this for a couple of hours if you like, and you can see it go left and then right followed by a return to the left and again to the right. So where are we now? Well, I've, uh, I've actually made a few changes to this uh, in, in my desired location and it's not being used in the big room because I thought that perhaps the movement, the oscillation, the, the rotational factor might help heat the room quicker but I don't believe it does. It still heats the room about the same as what you would expect from the smaller heaters that you see around that don't have the option to rotate. Instead, what I 
do at my workstation, uh, which is in a corner. I will set it behind me and it blows into the whole corner and heats up that corner quite well. Again, the, the lesson that I've learned from these heaters is that these are for heating the person and not the room. Your central heating is better off for heating the room. This doesn't pump any more heat into the room than a smaller space heater. And the fact that it rotates can help if it's a very, very small room or uh, problems. There are a few problems. Um, it is kind of noisy, but then all space heaters really are. Uh, as with the, the previous space heater, some sort of grip or handle would be great here. I am, I'm so ca uh, cautious about the way I'm carrying it uh, that I don't drop it. because I, I, It does feel like one drop could, well, whenever it comes to any of these sorts of heaters, could damage the internals quite easily because they are cheap and well, whilst they're not poorly put together or anything, uh, they are quite, they can be prone to a bit of damage. You can't move this, well, you can move this a bit uh, whenever it's, well, I suppose you can move the whole, the whole lot, but well, I can't move it now. It seems to be a bit strange as to whether or not you can move the motor or not, and I don't know if I'm doing it more harm than good uh, by moving it. But that's about it. I can't really fault it too much. It, it, it looks all right. It doesn't look particularly abhorrent in my living room, sitting in front of the gas fire that I'm not using anymore. Uh, there's a red light up here, which obviously turns on whenever it's going, so you know that it's going. And these things tend to run about a penny a minute. So you don't want to keep them on all the time. You maybe turn them on once or twice a week for 10 or 20 minutes to get a quick blast of heat if it's particularly cold. But it hits the temperature. It hits the high temperature really quickly, faster than uh, a, one of those electrical bar fires. And for that, it's commendable. It's a good big heater here. It pumps out a lot of heat for as long as it runs and it can heat you really quite well, but you obviously feel the cold as soon as you turn it off because you're warm and the rest of the room is cold. So for short blasts, this will work in a smaller room. Remember to keep the door closed and the window closed, the curtains and the blinds closed as well. And that's about it. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments box down below. Hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy and check out our new video podcast which is going to go out every Sunday here on YouTube. And other than that, take care.